think a significant percentage of your players pull the parachute to me? Um, I wouldn't put them all in that category, uh, but there are some that were uh, should be embarrassed when they leave. When, when you see an effort like that from certain players, Todd, when, when do you balance the time to maybe just staple a guy to the bench or keep playing? How does well, we're probably talking about two or three guys in particular, one maybe, and uh, he should be. Uh, the potential for it exists greatly in the next 10 days, um, but we'll get through these these next little this next little phase. Positive, maybe the, just to play Osterley and Davis. Yeah, is it fair? they were. Uh, you know, at least they're aggressive and they're they're making plays. And and if they're going to error, it's it's through um, good intent and and aggressiveness and um, no complaints about uh, about them at all. Actually, that should rub off on maybe one or two others. How does it say when your best game really in this whole stand is against the best team in the league? Like, Alan, did you guys just play afraid to get beat badly and you really played hard against the Ducks and then some of the other teams you played against? Um, I don't know. Maybe we were, uh, you know, I don't have an answer for that really. Um, right now, I'm really disappointed, obviously. Um, it doesn't get any easier ahead of us. I'm concerned about the spirit of our team. Um, I think there's a lot of guys waiting for something. Uh, what that is, I don't know. If it's changes coming, if it's them leaving, if it's new guys coming in, that's a dangerous, dangerous thing. Um, you know, the three goals against tonight are, I can't stand here and justify any of them. The missed coverage in the D zone. Um, you know, the, the lack of a clear on a, on a penalty kill where we've got all the time in the world. And uh, obviously uh, a passing error in the neutral zone that we don't handle puck on, and that's what we're there for. So I, I can't explain that. That's disappointing. Uh, um, you know, and then we had phases of really good attack time and effort time. We were, at times we were good in our zone, but we waver and we're up and down throughout, throughout the game. Yep. Third goal broke our back. Broke our spirit, broke our back. The way they got it, how easy it was, I can go on and on, but um, it's over with. You've seen that this season where you've played good stretches and then it seems that your team gives up that major gap that leads to a goal. How do you eliminate that from the player's psyche or just from their play on the ice? Maybe we get rid of some players. Maybe. There's one guy in particular that just stood out to everybody in the building and that was Justin Schultz. Can you speak to him directly? Can I speak to his, speak about him or is that about him? Pretty disappointing night um, for him as an individual and in effect at the team. Todd, a large part of this core has been through a few years where at this point in the season they're playing these types of games where they're quite a ways out. Um, and I know you, you just got here. Are you noticing that this group doesn't seem to know how to pull anything out of games at this time of year? That they're maybe a little bit used to having played these games and okay I think that them. may be a good observation. I'm still early into it. Um, as I mentioned, I'm concerned about our spirit right now. Um, at the beginning of the year, you talked about holding our hands and fighting through crap like this. I'm concerned. And um, did we fold the cards tonight? I don't know. We, uh, yeah, well, could be too. You know, I, I am. I have a huge concern because the spirit of the team isn't where it needs to be, and and um, you know, just individually as a, as a group, there has to be ten guys in there that have so much pride they pull the rest of the guys along. Um, so um, you know, we'll see what happens over the next uh, seven or six, seven days. Maybe there's some guys waiting for that. I don't know, but um, it's got to get better, or we got to make huge, huge changes.